You take a tea sock. You take you take one and your sock. You don't bite. Okay, so we get one. Yeah. Today we're going to visit the chocolate factory and the rum company. We're excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. Trust me. We got the power to change the world. Need you to trust me. You will get no less than you deserve. Trust me. The thing we got is better than this. Need you to trust me. This town is we are now traveling with the future minister of Grenada. Oh, you're making me blush. Maybe in time, sometime. Next year, you see him in the cabinet. Yeah, in parliament. Yeah. He'll be the best minister here in Grenada. I think so. Yes, I think so too. I tried before, but it didn't work, but I still have it in mind. He'll try next year, and we're very honored to be driving with him today around Grenada. I think he's showing us the best place in Grenada. We just arrived at the RAM factory. They're gonna give us a tour right now. How actually the RAM is made here in Granada. Guys, I'm about to change the perspective. Sugarcane is made cut from the fields to press most of the month. As the fields tie together, usually using the leaves of the cane to make it more accessible for the guys here to grind the sugarcane. Guys, every aspect of the sugarcane that water behind you is being utilized here. We're the only organic rum distillery in Grenada. We're proud to say that. In Guadeloupe and Grenada, that's in the Western Hemisphere, we got the only rum as you call. Rum as you call means we're using sugarcane juice to produce the rum to instead of molasses. But then again, molasses is a byproduct of sugar and sugarcane. Sugar is made from sugar cane. As we allow the water along the upper that which is just soft, and that water is coming directly from the river. We got a reservoir from half a mile away. This wheel is 178 years old. 1840. If it's not broken, why are you gonna fix it? These are three tons for it. There are three of them basically. It's quantity of sugar cane. It's not extracted, sorry. The gentleman is gonna start to back over. You need to get the maximum amount of this extracted from the sugar cane. Press the extracted cane juice and goes on directly to the boiling house. This juice right here, it's all the sugar cane juice. A gentleman stands there and manually keeps the excess after it's been dried into the fuel. This boils the same cane juice you just saw to 100 degrees Celsius. So they got the land, they got the water. There are 80 persons estimated employed. We go modernize, we're cutting the stuff. capacity 2400 gallons these tanks are not being cleaned on a regular basis allowing the natural bacteria from the juice before to build and accumulate basically the germs on the inside mm -hmm. we take the cold cane juice and add to the natural bacteria at mm -hmm. this rum distillery the natural bacteria oxygen and carbon dioxide is carrying it our fermentation there is any heat added the bacteria in the tank the germs is eating away the sugar moonshine started in america louisville and mm -hmm. turkey during the progression days 
Moonshine takes your eyesight. Moonshine literally makes you blind. You consume too much of moonshine, give it two years, and you're gonna go blind. As the first vapor rises, most persons do not know that there is methanol and there is ethanol. Methanol has been used to be gasoline. The first bat that rises, that's the bad stuff, it's called the first one cut. You need to allow the methanol to evaporate and take ethanol, which you convert into rum. The typical guys who are making the moonshine is either they don't know the knowledge or deliberately this has been done. They evaporate ethanol, methanol, moonshine is gasoline. Guys, if I open up this lock and I jump on the inside here, we are standing gallons of 75% alcohol body. That's why there's a high possibility you get a match or yeah, a lighter. Yeah. And well, yeah. 75% alcohol body. This is 150 proof. You're not allowed to take this on an airline back home. <laughs> what we did. Water very dumb meaning cutting the alcohol to 1% of the night, 69%, right, right. 138 proof. 1% of the band, which is 70, but small volume. Less alcohol, more burn. More alcohol, smoother, better tasting. The water basically cuts this in result, giving this an additional warm sensation. This is passion fruit drum punch. 16% minimum, 20% maximum. You can chill this, a block of ice, have this neat. It's a cocoa, so you make the chocolate from it. The yellow like this is ready. Yeah, after it get yellow, it will get dry and rot. No. It's not good? No. Oh, why they didn't pick it up? Sometimes they're busy, they don't come to the land. So we are visiting Grenada Chocolate Company today. So they're gonna teach us how they make chocolate here. I'm excited for the tour. This is their factory here. Mm, and the smell is amazing here. You can smell chocolate from far away. So this is their car, the chocolate car. And this is the guy who is gonna give us the tour. I'm Ron. I'm Lina. Nice to meet you, Ron. Ron. So this is the chocolate right here. Right here. I take a taste of it. You take, you take one and you suck. You don't bite. Okay, so we get one. Yeah. Kind of sour sweet. Sour yeah. yeah. Oh, it's right. Mm. It's all right. So this here now, we're gonna take a lot of this and put it in a tray. Put it in a tray. Like a full, if we fill up a tray with some of this, and then we cover it with green straws, mm. green banana straws, green banana leaves. Okay. We're gonna cover it and I'm gonna leave it for six days. To oh. dry out. That's called fermenting. Oh. When you oh. ferment it, it gets brown in color. Okay. That's how the brown color comes, when you ferment it. Okay. When you ferment it, you put it on a tray to dry again. Right. And then the brown color stays. And then we bring it up here to start out. So oh. yeah. so it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so far, I was down to the hole and roast up all the beans then 18 minutes then. Wow. So we're roasting the beans in order so that the shells can come off. After it's been roasted, it's very easy for it to crack. Oh, so then you can get it. Okay. Yeah, so then you, you get it, you can get it, you cook all time. Yeah. So, right, so now we're gonna turn this wheel, cocoa gonna drop here. This here gonna spin, keep it cool, like for 15 minutes or so. Right? Mm -hmm. And after we're gonna put it in tubs, carry it upstairs to get the shells on. Do you, get another, do you get like another bucket after this, or is it just. Well, two buckets. Two buckets. Once it's roasted, they get two buckets, two oh. buckets. Okay. Oh, Make a hole to the ceiling on top, they're gonna drop the beans from on top. So the beans gonna settle here. So this machine is going to shake and crack the beans, right? So the, the shells strap will come here. Mm -hmm. You have a pan going out with the shell, shells come here. Here your particles fall down below, which is the bits of food. So now we take it inside to make chocolate. Wow, oh. it smells so good, like I feel like I want to eat a whole bar of chocolate. <laughs> so this machine here is called a Molanja. It's an old antique German machine from in Oregon in USA. One of the stones there weighs 500 pounds. Wow. So there is a thousand pounds rolling on the cocoa together with the sugar and vanilla bean. So in here is just grind the cocoa bean. No additive, no sugar, nothing added. Pure cocoa bean. Wow. Wow. So we grind it here, we try to store it here, 
to put it very well. We use a funnel, and we're going to put it, pull up the cylinder and we focus. Okay? So this piece I'm going to press against the focus inside of the cylinder. I use a 20 gun jack, hot fire, extracting the oil from the cocoa, making cocoa butter for your skin. So that's the cocoa butter there. That's what we use for skin. You use it for skin? Yeah. Oh, like two ladies sitting on this table. Here, we're going to have two ladies sitting here. And what they're going to do, they're going to sort out the good beans here from the bad beans. Uh -huh. Alright, so that's the bad beans in the bag. Yeah. That's our bad beans. Uh, yeah, so this is no good. Okay. Oh. So you're going to throw it back in the land for the compost. Right? Yeah. And that's the good beans in the buckets. Oh, okay. wow. Right? So now, we're going to take the good beans, two buckets at a time. And we're going to carry it in here to get roasted. Hey, this is the store, right? Yeah, that's okay. what we sell there. So this is the sampling table. And we are going to now try all this type of chocolate. So I'm going to be trying now 100% chocolate, which is the best for your health. So let's see how it is. Yeah, you know what? I think, yes. I think so. Peter? Creamy? Alright, so you want this one now? No, very good. So we tried the 100% and now we are going to 82%. And what do you think about the 100? 100 too creamy, too rich. Too rich. And a little bit bitter. Bitter. Best for the health. So far I like 82. Okay.